All right, Bill, looks like you got uh, a Husqvarna chop saw and a couple of bevelers here. Yeah, exactly. So we've got on the saw an eight flute beveler. We get a lot of questions. What's the difference between a 16 flute and an eight flute beveler? And the truth of the matter is they're almost exactly the same. However, on a saw that's got four or five horsepower, you can take a more aggressive cut with an eight flute beveler. The 16 flute is designed for electric tools or lower horsepower tools, but they basically put the same profile on pipe. When you talk about flute, you mean the how many how many cutters are on there? So that one's 16, 18. That one takes a little bit more aggressive bite. You can use that one on a higher horsepower. This one, a little bit less aggressive. It doesn't mean it's slower. It's a little bit slower, yeah. Does it but leave a different s smoothness on the cut? No, it should leave about the same profile. Can you use the same on different size pipes? Yeah, absolutely. What these size are, pipe are these good for? These are good for uh, six inch up to 16 inch diameter and all pressure rated pipe. You need a thick sidewall. Gravity fed sewer pipe is not what these are designed for. Got it. All right, let's see it run. All right. Now we've, edge right this there. is just a demo piece of pipe, so we're going to just trim the edge up and then I'll show you how to put a bevel on. Okay. Go ahead. You can see that's a nice, smooth, consistent cut all the way around. All right, so you got that beveled. Looks nice. Do you have to keep that beveler on the saw every time you're making a cut? No, the really nice part is this will just hand tighten on so you can unthread this thing right off when you're done. Eventually, if you use this out in the field, you may hit the cutters against the ground or dirt or something like that and wear it out. So you can take that off and now you can make all the field cuts you want. And that outer flange, that is a U.S. Saws product. That's not stock for the saw. Correct. That's designed to hold this beveler. Okay. Can you replace the head of that beveler? when? Absolutely. There's a depth adjustment on this, so you can actually vary the depth of cut. Right now we've got a fairly shallow bevel on it. We can actually extend that bevel out to make a more aggressive bevel on thicker pipe. Perfect. Okay, so now you have the two of them there. You're going to run the the 16 flute beveler. Right, we're going to use the 16 now. On this saw. Yeah, same exact piece of pipe. I'm going to recut it and re-bevel with the 16 just to show the difference. All right, sounds good. All right. All right, go, go ahead and show us uh, how you install that. All right, this just threads right back into this special flange. And we use the wrench on the saw to just tighten it up. The right. rotation of the saw makes it self-tightening, so it's not going to come off during operation. Okay.
All right, so that one, it's a little bit of a shallower bevel on that? Correct, and these are adjustable, so I can actually reset the depth of that for a more pronounced bevel if I need to. Okay, and that little bearing on the end of it, that's what prevents you from going too much of a bevel, right? Kind of like a wood router. Exactly right, it prevents it, it rides on the actual body of the pipe so that you don't cut too deep. All right. So this is a small battery power tool with our universal beveler on it. And this is designed to bevel just like the big saw does, but in a small handheld package. How many flutes does that one have? As you'll recall, the 16 flute is designed for low horsepower tools. So that's what exactly I've got on. Beautiful. That one does not look adjustable. This is our economy version. So it's got a very basic thread on design for all 5 8 11 shafts. Okay, so that threads right onto the shaft of the grinder. That's correct. Okay. All right, let's see it work. All right, Bill, so how many bevels on a pipe should a customer expect to get before having to replace the head on that thing? Obviously, a little bit of housekeeping is important. If there's a dirty pipe and there's sand and mud and all that on there, you're gonna get a lot less life. Typically, with the eight flute on a gas saw, we get over 100, and probably close to that with the small 16 flute as well. I kinda cut this one off. That's the eight flute, this is the 16 flute. Okay. This was set a little shallower, so you can see it's a little bit smaller of a cut, but that eight flute is, I mean, that is absolutely beautiful right there. That is a perfect cut. And again, the reason for beveling and why it's so important is... So you don't tear your gasket when you're pushing a pipe into a bell fitting. They've got a rubber gasket in there, and if you snag that gasket, you don't know you've got a leak in it until you lay down a bunch more pipe and actually pressure test it. So keeping good care of that gasket is an important thing. Got it. Bill, what is that pipe resting on that is able to make it roll? So this is our set of pipe rollers right here, and it's fantastic for doing field cuts and for field beveling. You can roll the pipe over with a kick of your foot and makes it really easy to handle. Can you pull the pipe out of there and show me what that thing, how it works? Yeah, it's just a nice set of rollers. You lay them on the ground, and it's got nice wheels to hold the pipe. It'll hold up to 16-inch diameter pipe. 